Welcome back to the Slide 2 Band of Thieves 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 30, which is great, I guess. Part 30, that's a big milestone for this walkthrough. And today we're going to do our Sly mission, which is stealing voices. And that mission is indicated right over here on the roof of this house. So you are going to go up there and do mission stealing voices right now. The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side. Giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. This mission uh, contains of a lot of going around and stealing keys and stealing items. And a lot of that stuff and it's a bit complicated and I'm not going to talk that much about it because you can just listen to Bentley talking about it. But something that I said in the previous uh, Harry Potter episode that I uploaded it is that I'm on summer holidays right now so that's great so I've got time to uh, record, edit and upload so that's great. I'm just going to tell it in the parts of one of the parts of each walkthrough that I'm doing, so everyone knows that I've got summer holidays now. I actually started yesterday on the 19th of June, so I'm really happy that I've, I've got summer holidays right now. Because now I've got time to do other stuff than just doing homework and going to school and being stressed out about what I'm going to do and stuff. And I really love not being stressed out. This is the first day of the summer holidays, and I really can't believe that I've got the holidays right now because it just feels like um, I haven't went to school today, and it's or oh, that I haven't been paying attention. That's what it feels like. But I don't have school today, so I don't have to worry about anything. Sleep as long as I want to, and do whatever I want to. That's one of my favorite things in life to do. Not being worried about anything. That's what I like. <clears throat> but I still have recovered from my sickness because I'm still sore in my throat, as you probably can hear. So I'm sorry if you're annoyed by it. And I keep saying that all the time, but I just feel like I should say stuff like that. <coughs> but now it's, we've stolen those two keys right now, so we can make our way up to top of the castle again. How many times are we going up to the top of the castle in this uh, episode, episode 5? Like seriously, a lot. Always go to the top of the castle, Sly. It's always like that. But I already have anything against it because I think this castle looks epic and nice. I just like castles very much. And uh, <clears throat> we are going to get the wire tab right now. And as you can see over there, there's a safe there. So we are actually going to open that safe as well. So after we've got 30 clue bottles, we can open the safe. Security around the Contessa's castle is tight. She must have something really good in here. Punch in 969. You've got the range ball boom! Oh, yeah. Now he's stolen the wiretap and the rage bomb, which I I have to confess something is that I actually don't ever use these um, 
these special moves that you can buy for Sly and Bentley and Murray and stuff, I never use them. Which is kind of weird of me saying because I never use them. And that's actually the truth, so you're not going to see me using the Rage Bomb, just to point that out. Now I've got two new keys to steal. I told you there was going to be a lot of stealing and going back and forth in this part. And it is. And with these two keys you have to be a bit um, uh, quick. Because here you can see he moves. And then you have to go and steal the key. Because he's going to move back and see you and attack you. So you have to be quite quick about this. And I've got C as well though. So that's not good. But I did manage to escape, escape, and now we got another key to steal, which is like the same thing, the same guard, and you have to be quick to steal, but this one is a bit easier to steal, if you're going the way I'm going, because I always go on to the top of this tower, and then I can see down at the guard here, and then I just steal, and then there I used a move or sly, which wasn't intentional so that doesn't count but as you can see you have to be quick there as well or else he's going to hit you in the face as he did with me but after that you can basically go down here and open up the door to steal more stuff This time you have to use uh, this light to um, well, make the guard go to that light because you hear the sound. You have to use these to make the guards go other places so you can basically sneak past. That's what you have to do to get to the end of this little hallway. And then at the end you'll find... The voice modulator, which is scary. So now we got the wiretap and the voice modulator. So now we can basically go uh, into the sewers. Is that's is that's are we going into the sewers now? I really can't remember. I've actually just recorded this as well, so I'm a bit tired now because I just I woke up today. I ate breakfast and uh, figured out what I'm going to wear and. All that stuff and then I went up here recorded this and then now I'm editing it and I'm going to upload it later tonight as well so yeah well no we have actually got two more keys to steal I bet that's because you need keys to get into the room in the sewers I think that's why we have to steal two more keys so the keys is located over there so little way to go but yeah whatever it's okay but something which I a bit sad about is that episode 5 is soon done but we're going to have even better episodes after this one we're going to have a really cool antagonist in the two next episodes which I'm hoping you will look forward to because these two next ex ex episodes is probably going to be the two episodes you guys enjoy the most out of all the episodes. But I don't know which I enjoy. I really, really enjoy all of the episodes to be um, to be to be um, to say the right thing. But I I think I do enjoy the two next episodes more. Because they are very enjoyable. I must admit that. And these two guards keep being very strange. So I'm just going to go out of this table and make them follow me. To make them do other things. <laughs> that's a weird thing, way to say it. But that's basically what I'm doing. But we got one of the keys. Just one more to get actually. And we should be able to get it now if he turns around. Yeah, we should get it now. Steal it. And I got noticed as well. <laughs> I always get noticed. So 
so stupid. I wouldn't be a good thief at all. I would just hurry and hurry and hurry and don't and not care about uh, who sees me. So I would be a very bad thief. So I shouldn't be a thief. I should remember that. But now we will actually go into the sewers to go into the place we actually stole all these items to get into. And we're going to attach the voice much later with the wiretap inside there. So we'll just open the door with our two keys here. And here we find something stupid. You didn't expect that, did you? No, you didn't. Who would know? I think they should have done something more exciting about that. This. The tentacles. Something. A boss battle or something. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. Job completed. See you in the next part.